At Consumer Reports, we load dishwashers with food cake dishes to test their cleaning power and measure their decibel levels to find the quietest models. Our dishwasher guide will arm you with expert knowledge to pick the style or model that best suits your needs. Consumer Reports online subscribers can find specific brand recommendations and exclusive product ratings on our website. The go-to among dishwashers remains the built-in model. They range in price from just under $300 to well over $2,000. They're what you see in most homes, usually sitting in a 24 by 24 inch space beneath the counter. You can typically fit from 10 to 14 place settings in one. If you have a small kitchen, a compact dishwasher might be a good option. They're narrower, 18 inches wide, but still fit beneath the counter. You'll find room for about eight place settings in one, and they range in price from $350 to $1,500. And there are drawer dishwashers. A single or double drawer model fits in a standard 24 inch space. You might pay from six dollars to $900 for a single drawer, or $1,000 to $1,500 for a double drawer model. You don't have to bend to close them like a traditional door, and you can just run one drawer if you want to clean a small load. No space under your counter for a dishwasher? You can roll a portable dishwasher into your kitchen and hook it up to the sink. These dishwashers are often topped with butcher block or laminate, creating an extra workspace. They range from about $200 to about $800. In the end, how you intend to use the machine is a big determining factor in how much you'll spend and how happy you'll be with your dishwasher. The number one question for any dishwasher is whether it cleans your dishes. We answer that question by putting dishwashers through a brutal test, coating 10 place settings with a sticky mess, 13 foods that include egg yolk, jelly, spaghetti, and coffee grounds. After loading the dishes and flatware according to the owner's manual, we let them sit overnight. Then we run them through a normal cycle with high temperature wash and heat dry if available and examine each piece. The average person will never ask this much of their machine and most machines we test score very good or excellent for washing. So if they all wash well, what sets one dishwasher apart from another? Quietness is the feature consumers ask for the most, according to our surveys. Some manufacturers display a decibel rating, but they average the sound level of an entire cycle, including the dry cycle, which of course makes no noise. So the machine could be louder than the stated decibels. Our testers listen to the noise level during fill, wash, and drain, and factor the findings into a machine's ratings. You'll pay more for a super quiet machine, but a high price tag is not a guarantee of quietness. We found some high priced dishwashers that didn't get top ratings for noise. You'll want a dishwasher that's easy to load and unload. When you shop, try the adjustable racks. The top one should raise easily to make room for big pots on the bottom. Fold down and removable racks are a plus. Are there flatware slots to keep your knives and forks from spooning? That way the water jets will be able to hit them all and clean them better. If you want to save loading time, you can open a slider lid on some models and just put the flatware in the basket. However, make sure the fork tines point up, knife blades point down, and spoon bowls point up. But they'll be clean if you use the slots. Another tip when you shop in a store, take your own plate and bowl to make sure they fit easily into the racks. One more thing you need to look for, cycle time. Dishwashers take anywhere from about 90 minutes to nearly three hours to finish a load. We find there's no correlation between cleaning time and performance. And it may not matter to you if you tend to clean your dishes overnight, but if your spaghetti pot's locked in when you need it, it could be frustrating. So check the runtime when you buy. You can get an efficient dishwasher that cleans great for a pretty low price, but you'll give up stainless fancy racks and it might be a little noisier. You might get some sensors because the technology is now available on some low price models. For some, the look of their appliances is nearly as important as performance. 40% of buyers go for either black or white dishwashers, and 54% choose stainless. Want something that blends in even more? Some models can accommodate panels that match your cabinets, giving your kitchen a streamlined look. And new finishes are available every year, like this black stainless steel. For a sleek look, many models come with hidden or integrated controls. Consumer Reports finds these are strictly for style. They're difficult to access and you can't see the machine's progress. If you choose this style, an on-off indicator light is helpful on the front. Some models project the time remaining on the floor. Knock knock. This dishwasher takes the sleek front to an extreme and doesn't even have a handle. And if you're one of those people who like to watch laundry sloshing around, you might like a window. 
there's another style choice that's not visible at first glance. You can choose different tub finishes. For instance, stainless steel is popular because it is resistant to stain. But a stainless interior doesn't improve cleaning, and while it does hold heat, in our test, the stainless interior is dried about the same as plastic tubs. You'll save from $75 to $150 opting for a plastic tub. They are perfectly acceptable and will last the life of the machine. After making style choices, here are some features you'll come across. To earn an Energy Star label, federal standards say that a dishwasher must meet a defined limit on water consumption, which continues to improve. However, some manufacturers are offering additional souped-up cycles with names like TurboZone and StormWash that do use more water and energy. Our camera checked out StormWash, which focuses the water on a designated area where you place the dirtiest items. We saw it focus there for just two or three minutes, but it still cleaned excellently. And in three out of four tests, a bottle washing feature we tested on one side of a dishwasher cleaned the same as the side without the special jets. Some features are especially helpful. Ever have a fork jam the spray arm, resulting in a load of half-cleaned dishes? This spray arm changes direction if something blocks its path. Sensors in the machine monitor the temperature and water level. A soil sensor tells how dirty the water is and adjusts the wash time and water usage accordingly. The machines we like are the smart ones. They basically adapt to your behavior. The normal cycle can actually vary depending on how much they need to clean. Most dishwasher brands offer a quick wash cycle. They save time and use more water to get the job done faster. Quick wash is most effective for loads of lightly soiled dishes. You can choose between a machine with a manual filter, which needs to be removed and rinsed from time to time, or a self-cleaning filter. Your owner's manual will tell how frequently to check it, but we recommend looking each time you run a load. There could be bits of food left in the filter that can cause odors. Self-cleaning filters typically have a grinder that pulverizes food particles so they can fit down the drain. This type tends to be a bit noisier than the manual version. Finally, here are a few tips to ensure that you get the most out of the dishwasher you choose. Take the time to read the loading guide in the owner's manual. Every machine is different and your dishes will be cleaner for it. Most of the energy your machine uses goes to heating the water, so before you turn it on, run the sink water till it's warm and save your machine the work. However, running the water to rinse your dishes can waste up to 20 gallons per load. Just scraping them before loading is enough. For optimum results and energy savings, always run your dishwasher fully loaded. Yes, your dishwasher exists to do your dirty work, but here are some things it can destroy, so keep them out. Cast iron. Anything made with wood, like cutting boards or utensil handles that can dry out or warp. Hand wash delicate glass and crystal, and any plastic not marked dishwasher safe. Oh, and resist the urge to pop your insulated coffee mug in there. The seal can be compromised by the heat, letting water in between the walls. We're a not-for-profit and pay for all the items we test. For more information, including a breakdown of the most reliable dishwasher brands, visit our website at consumerreports.org. Thanks for your support. Wet dishes from the dishwasher? Not necessarily something you think about when buying a dishwasher. But Consumer Reports finds some dishwashers dry better than others. We actually rate dishwashers on how well they dry. After testers load the dishwashers up with grimy plates and cups caked with all sorts of tough-to-clean foods, they also place two plastic cups inside the top rack of the dishwasher. We use plastic because it's harder to get completely dry. After the cycle's finished, testers check the cups. This one still has a lot of water droplets. This dishwasher gets the cups relatively dry. Manufacturers use different methods to dry dishes. Some use heating coils, others use a fan, others heat the water up at the end of the cycle and use the residual heat to dry dishes. Consumer Reports finds you can't tell by the drying method which dishwasher will do the best job at drying. Whatever dishwasher you have, Consumer Reports recommends using a rinse aid. That will help get your dishes drier. Rinse aid helps break the bond between the water and the dishes, plus it helps prevent spotting. This will also help get your dishes drier. When loading, place dishes so they don't touch. Try using the high heat option on your dishwasher. And as soon as the cycle is finished, open the door crack and let the moist air escape to help with drying. For as long as dishwashers have been around, people have been arguing over the right way to load them.
Over time, food particles can get trapped in and around your dishwasher's filter, which can lead to some pretty nasty smells. Here's how to keep your machine clean and fresh. If your dishwasher has a whitish film from hard water buildup, you may need to reach for something stronger than vinegar. Our test found that Lemmy Shine Cleaner delivered solid results at a great price. The appliances in your home are a big investment. You can avoid repairs, keep them running efficiently, and get them to last as long as possible using these tips from Consumer Reports. First, your refrigerator. It will stay colder, run better, and last longer if the cold air can circulate easily so don't overstuff it with food. Do the doors seal properly and keep the chill in? Close the door on a slip of paper and tug on it. If it slides out, it's time to replace the gasket so your fridge doesn't have to work as hard. Compressor coils clogged with dust can't release heat efficiently and make the fridge work harder, wearing it down. Cleaning the coil with a brush and vacuum once a year will add years to the life of your refrigerator. Your dishwasher will last longer if you clean the gasket routinely with soap and water and take the time to remove food debris regularly from the filter. Much of the energy used by your dishwasher goes toward heating the water. So before you do a load, run the water at the sink until it gets hot. That saves the dishwasher work and it'll last longer. Keep your range working its best by keeping the burner ports clear using a pipe cleaner or paper clip. Don't overwork your dryer. Clean the lint filter before every use. Use the auto dry setting. That's going to save energy and wear and tear on your clothes. And clear the vent annually to help the dryer run efficiently and help prevent a fire hazard. Overstuffing your washing machine strains the motor, transmission, and other parts. You can fill it, but loosely. Your laundry will come out cleaner and your machine will last longer.